Hello everybody, my name is Konstantin, this is project how to do. Recently online store Gearbest contact me and ask if I interested in making a review of CR10 3D printer. I said yes of course. I already had two 3D printers, but this one is significantly different. The standard spin size is 20 by 20 by 20 cm, while CR10 can print 30 by 30 by 40 cm. When the printer arrived and I opened the box, the first thing I noticed that is practically assembled. Remembering my first 3D printer, an at A8, it was necessary to assemble everything. In this printer you just need to fix two frames and connect the wires from the control unit. Don't forget to check and tighten all the bolts along the way. Pay attention to the fastening of the rollers. On the table I had a strong backlash. To fix this problem I unscrew the screws and squeeze the rollers to the guide. And screw them back. In the kit there is a paper assembly instruction. But it's very simplified. The full PDF and video versions are on the microSD card. Full assembly took about an hour. During this time I checked every single screw, disassembled the control unit and make sure that all connections are made fine. Also on SD card you find all versions of Cura Slicer. Drivers, a lot of documentation about setting up, about solving problems, everything you need is there. They put a set of all necessary tools, Allen keys, screwdrivers, all of course not the best quality, but if you have no tools at all, it will be able to assemble the printer without any problems. In kit you will find one extra nozzle, 0.4 mm diameter, Teflon tube for filament, roll of tape for table and 250 grams of filament. Assembled printer is very rigid, even applying force to the frame it's not shaking. Calibration of the table is very convenient. Because of solid structure just set up it once and it will stay for a long time. A couple moments that I notice. The navigation on menu with an encoder is pretty comfortable. It's not very convenient that the printer doesn't detect the presence of SD card. And it's necessary to update it. This is an extra click, but nothing serious. I print with PLA filament, but even with it, the heating of the bed takes considerable time. It's understandable, the area of the table is twice as large as usual. After the first printing, I immediately made two upgrades. One is the holder of the wires going to the heating bed. The second one is the thing that guide filament and holding the wires. Let's start the test. The first thing I print is this vase. Quality of the model is good and I don't see any noticeable defects. But let's be honest, probably no one will buy this kind of printer to print 5cm models. So I replace the nozzle from kit 0.4 to 0.8mm. I generally print everything with it. I don't do any beautiful models with great details. Most of my prints are some sort of cases, boxes, holders and stuff like that. So after replacing the nozzle I print this vest. It took less than one hour. Do you think it's big? Yes, for regular printer is just the maximum size of 20 cm in high. But not for that. And that what everyone was waiting for. Almost the maximum high of 28 cm. 5 hours of printing. It's just huge. Let's take a closer look. You can see small waves on the surface. But most of them are due to a model or a slicer. And in fact I was able to find only one wave that is a defect of the printer. Here it is. It can be seen from the both sides. And it become more noticeable at the height. I also found those two strips. This is a small shift along the Z axis. Maybe some dust on the guides. To sum it up, the printer is very simple to assemble and operate. Accessible print quality, good price. I would recommend it to people who want to print large models. It's really made for it. But if you are not sure if you need such print sizes, and maybe regular print size of 20 by 20 by 20 cm is enough for you, you should think about other models. You can save some money and get better quality. I leave link to CR10 in the description and discount coupon code. 
that's all I got for today. See you next time.